What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel where I show you how to get all the unique items in Skyrim. Today we will be getting Croesus. This is usually the easiest Dragon Priest mask to get and as you can see it's one of the most useful masks to get at the start of the game, especially if you're playing a sneaky or rogue type character. As you can see this mask gives you a 20% boost to your archery damage and makes your alchemy 20% more powerful. So any potions or poisons that you craft while wearing this mask will have enhanced effects. Croesus's mask will also make lockpicking 20% easier. This basically just increases the window of success when you're lockpicking something. And let's be honest, I need all the help I can get. There's also going to be a dragon shout we can pick up at the same time. So to acquire all of this stuff, you'll need to come over here on the map, east from Whiterun, to Sheer Point. This location is situated outside at the top of a mountain that borders the Pale Hole. And guys, if you actually come over here very early on in the game, even at level 1, literally just grab a follower and come over here. So long as it's before you've completed the main quest called Dragon Rising, then it'll just be you versus the Dragon Priest, Croesus. But if you've already done the quest Dragon Rising, then you'll be faced with battling a dragon and a dragon priest at the same time, like I am. So this can obviously make the fight quite difficult, but there are a few things we can do to get around this. So just taking a look at the map again guys, White Run's just here and Sheer Point's just here. You want to approach from this side, so the east side of Sheer Point in this direction. And as you approach guys, you'll actually see a dragon on top of the location. So ideally, we want to try and get a sneak attack on this guy to make this fight a bit easier. Yeah, we've got the sneak attack. That does a ton of damage, man. It's usually so hard to get sneak attacks on dragons, but it definitely helps you out when you get them. Can't see with all this fog, but now we've got to take out this dragon. And I've brought Lydia along to help me because she's an absolute maniac. So she's just going to stand there and tank this beast for me while I pelt him with arrows like a pincushion. I've got the Enhanced Dragon mod, which basically retextures all the dragons for us. And he's going down pretty quickly, actually, so I'm pretty happy with this. Lydia's doing a good job. It's all good. We've got it. If Lydia keeps on, like, shield bashing him when he uses his flame attacks, he just doesn't do any damage to us. So, well done, Lydia. Made it pretty easy. So, let's search this dragon, and he's got some bones, scales, like 200 gold, and that's it. Right, now we've taken care of the dragon, we'll go and take out the dragon priest. And once again, guys, we should be able to get a sneak attack on him, if you are an archer like me, that is. So, if you see that tomb right next to the word wall, just sneak up on it with your arrow drawn, and as soon as he comes out, we'll be able to land at least one sneak attack on him. If he comes out. There he is, here he comes. Okay. Oh, did a bit of damage. Oh no, that was a sneak attack. Oh my god, this guy's so tanky. So he does no conjure Frost Atronaut, which is pretty damn annoying. Because, um... Well, it's, it's actually not too bad, because you can kind of... If you're using a bow, you can just kite the Frost Atronaut while pelting him with arrows. The main issue is that goddamn fire staff of fireballs that he's using right now. That's going to really mess us up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly put on some anti-fire magic gear. Just so we don't get absolutely shred by him. So 40% fire resistance on there. We'll put that on. Um, I didn't bring anything else with me. Let's see if we have... Oh, we've got a potion of fire resistance. That's good. And I'm also going to use some poison. And we'll heal ourselves. Great. So we should be able to get a few more attacks. But he does know, if you can see that sort of blue um, effect that's currently on him. He's sort of like got a blue enchanted hue on his body. That's because he's using the ebony flesh spell. And that's why my arrows are doing like literally no damage to him whatsoever. So it's kind of annoying. If you're a mage, like you should be able to kill him a lot easier. But again, like, as long as Lydia's tanking some of that damage for us... Oh, she's already down from one of those fireball spells. <laughs> he also knows uh, Frost Cloak, which he's using right now. And I think he knows Frost Spike, which he's got in one hand. 
hopefully if I keep on staggering him like this, Lydia can keep on tanking that damage. Thank you, Lydia. My archery's actually increased just from pelting this guy with arrows. Yeah, it's quite an intense fight, but it's not too bad. If you get, like, a sneak attack on him early, then you can take him out very easily. But obviously we're doing this on master difficulty because, you know, it's a lot fun in that way. But you can just turn it down to novice and obviously take him out very early on in the game. But just focus your, all your attention on him. If he conjures a frost atronaut, just ignore it. So here we go, Croesus's mask. Lockpicking, archery and alchemy are 20% better. Looks really cool as well. I really like the golden green sort of enchantment aesthetic to this one. And this is the cloak of Croesus, which is a mod I have. But you should also be able to get the staff of fireballs, which you'll always use. A fire explosion for 40 points of damage in a 15 foot radius. But now guys, we're going to get this word of power. Just here. And this should be the fro... fro voice? Yeah, fro voice chant. Don't forget to get this boss chest as well guys. This is a fantastic shout for those thieves or assassins among you. The shout will basically make a noise wherever you position the cursor. Enemies will then go and investigate that noise, leaving you free to stab them in the back or make an undetected escape. Escape, I mean escape. And guys, if you want to find all the other Dragon Priest Mask locations to unlock the secret Dragon Priest Mask, just check out the link to the video in the description. You can also smash that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon next to it to make sure you're the first to know whenever I upload a new Skyrim video guide. But thanks again for watching me ESO and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Skyrim video guide. So have a fantastic day and goodbye.